okay so let's try the next uh, coding problem so open the leadcode.com and click on the problem section and uh, search here find first and last click enter so you will see the problem number 34 open that it's come under the medium uh, category but like uh, if you read the problem it's like even very easy not even easy it's very easy so the question is find first and last position of element in the sorted array so given an array of integer number so some array is given but which is sorted in known uh, decreasing which is it means ascending order find the starting and the ending position of a given target so you have given some target you need to search the first position and the last position that's it and if you if the target is not even exist in that array then the first position is minus one and the last position is also minus one right and here like they mentioned we have to write an algorithm in o of log n complexity so just ignore this line for the time being right because first we have to see whether we can like uh, achieve this solution or not it doesn't matter like what the complexity then we will try to optimize it so this is the array so given so as an example so we have the array given 5 7 7 8 8 10 if let's suppose the target is 8 we have to find the first position and the last position so what is the first position first position is 3 the last position of uh, like uh, 8 is 4 so 3 and 4 so in the same array if let's suppose we have the target 6 we don't have the 6, so we will return the first position as minus 1, last position as minus 1. If there is an empty array and target is 0, so 0 doesn't exist. So minus 1, minus 1. All right. So how to, like, what is the brute force? Brute force is just very simple. You need to find the first position. First position. So how you are going to find the first position? So what you have to do is just run a loop. From starting to end, as soon as you find the first position, that is your first position. That's it. And how you find the last position? Run another loop from end to first, end to end to start. And as soon as you find the first position, that is your end position. All right. So in the brute force approach, what we have to do is, so let's suppose we have to find the first position. So we will run a loop starting from zero, zero means zero, till n. n is the length of n. So we have to target is our eight. So when loop starting, so i is equal to 0, i is equal to 0 means the element is 5. So whether 5 is equal to 8, no. Then loop increasing, i is equal to 1. 7 is equal to 8, no. Then i is equal to 2. 7 is equal to 8, no. Then i is equal to 3. 8 is equal to 8, yes. So as soon as we find the first position, we will store i in some, in some variable and then just break the loop. That's it. So we find our first position. Now we have to find the last position, right? So to find the last position, we are not going to run the loop from the starting. We will run the loop from the back, all right? So that is another loop. It is not a nested loop. It is a another loop only. So we will run from the n minus one from here till minus one, and we will reduce the minus one, all right? So i is equal to five is equal to eight. No. Then i is equal to four is equal to eight. Yes. As soon as we find the position, then we will store second, last position we have find the, it is the last, last position we have find four and then we are breaking the loop. That's it. So this is a brute force, uh, force approach. So let's try to implement this and let's see whether lead code will going to accept this brute force or not. So search range brute force. Brute force method. Okay, so this list, so we have to import that from typing import list. All right, so let's try. So let's, uh, because in the brute force uh, method, what we have to do, we have to run a loop from zero to length of, uh, to find the first element from zero to length. So let's calculate the length so that we don't need to calculate again and again. So n is equal to length of nums. So let's first find the first element only. So how to find the first element? So and by default, like what could be the first element? First is equal to minus one. And uh, last is equal to 
minus one. We don't need the comma here. All right. So find the first element. So how to find the first element in the loop? So for i in a range zero to n, zero to n. If nums of i equal to target, it means as soon as we find the first element, it means we find our first element. Then first is equal to i. We are going to store update our variable with that index and then we are going to break a loop. That's it. So uh, like a loop has been broken. That's it. If it is not, a, if it like no variable x, then by default, like first is equal to minus one. Then find the last element. So in to find the last element, uh, how to, we will run a loop from the back. So from the last, so last means n minus one till minus one because first is actually zero, so minus one, but we will reduce by minus one only. So if nums of j is equal to target, then second is equal to j, not second, the last. Last element is equal to j. As soon as we find the last element, we are going, going to break a loop because we are not going to run further. Then return first comma last. Let's run this. Our sample test case has been accepted, so let's try to submit it, whether all the test cases are accepted or not. So you could see it's very strange, like all the test cases has been accepted, and we beat 87% of the people. So it, it looks like most of the people are like uh, using like this kind of method only, but like they are not uh, doing in O log of n. So here, what is the complexity? We are running whole loop from 0 to n. So worst case scenario is O of n. So for this loop is big O of n. For this loop is big O of n. So big O of n plus big O of n is 2 of big O of n. So 2 is just a constant. Ignore that constant. So like complexity is O of n, big O of n. But here in the, in the question it is mentioned, you must write an algorithm with O of log of n, runtime complexity, even though this problem has been accepted. And we beat approx like most of the like people, all right. So, so at least we find one way to solve the pro problem. So, which is very important. It doesn't matter like whether we can optimize it or not, but at least we should know the one way. So we know the one way, which is like very simple. As I told you, it's come under the medium, but it's very simple. Why it's come under the medium? If try to someone try to optimize it, then we can say it's medium or like uh, L even less than medium, little bit. So let's remove this because uh, this is like the time complexity is of n, big of n, but we need to run the time complexity log n. All right. So how to like how to optimize this solution? All right. So as soon as you like you read the like uh, question like given an array of integer number sorted, like we have like whenever like whenever sorted array is given and whenever we want to search some element which algorithm we, we put we always use the binary search like there are so many methods like quick so like so we always use the binary search all right so because when the sorted array is given and we need to search some element then what we are going to do is we are going to use the binary search all right and we know the uh, complexity of the binary search algorithm is logan so let's try to implement the binary search. So how you are going to implement. So we know in the binary search, we will put one pointer here, one pointer here, then we are going to, are going to calculate the mid. Just a very minute change in the, in the binary search algorithm. Otherwise, it's totally same. So how to do that? So we know that array is sorted and we need to search something. So we can use the binary search method. So, right? so we will put, we will like a first like uh, take the left index to zero that is on the five and the right index into n minus one and then we are going to so left is on five right is on ten we are going to find the mid how to find the mid l plus r by two all right and we will use a double operator to ignore the float so that integer output will be generated so l plus r i is equal to zero 
R is equal to 5. So 2.5 by 2, 2.5 and 2. So we get the index 2. So, but our target is as soon as we find the mid, then what's the next? We are going to calculate. We are going to check whether the mid is equal to the target or not. So in this case, if mid is equal to target, no. So just ignore for the time being. Right. So if mid is greater than target, Yes, if mid is greater than target, then we need to search only in this area, right? So if mid, if mid is greater than target, what we have to do? We have to increase our, if sorry, if mid is greater than target, in this case, mid is, uh, mid is less than, mid is less than target, right? Just ign uh, ignore this, ignore this then. So th this is also not applicable. If mid is less than target, so our mid is seven, 7 is less than the target, like basically element at mid. I should not write mid, element at mid is less than target. So it means uh, both first and the last element should be after the mid, right? So, so, so what we will do, we will we will increase our L to mid plus 1. So our L is here, R is here. Again, we are going to run a loop to check the mid. So what's the mid? L plus R by 2, so 3 plus 5 by 2, 8. So mid is here. So if mid is equal to target, yes, mid is equal to target. But here, here just a trick because when we have to search the element, right? So in the binary search, our search, our search finish here, whether the mid is equal to target, then we say, okay, uh, uh, we have found the element. But here, just, just one more condition because we find the element, but it could be the first element. It could be the last element. It could not be the first order. It could not be the last. And we know the error is in the sorted. But if we find the element, right? So the let's suppose it is it, it is not the like the first or it is not the last element. It means the previous element or the next element also the same. Like previous element can be eight or last like the next element also can be eight or even more than the previous element. So what we have to do is so first we are checking the first like first element, just ignore the last element. Like in this case, now we run two loops, right? So similarly, we are run the binary search algorithm twice, right? So first, first to just find the like first element. So right now mid is here, and we find mid is equal to target, correct? So if mid is equal to target, we will check because we have to find the first first element, first occurrence, and this could be the first occurrence or this could not be the first occurrence, right? So what we have to check if, if we will check the previous element if mid minus one is equal to target, right? If it is not equal to target, then definitely this is our like first element because if the earlier element is let's suppose here seven point five, right? So definitely this is like the green one is our like uh, the first element. But if mid minus one mid minus one is equal to target in this case mid minus one is equal to target so we our left is here so if it is here so it means either this is the element or even before before there is a first element so we will shift our r so we will shift our r to uh, mid minus one so mid is here so mid minus one so l and r are here so again we are going to calculate the mid so as soon as if mid minus one so now l and r are both are same and mid is also the same. So mid is also the same. So mid is also the same. So what we will do, we will check whether the mid minus one, mid minus one is equal to seven. So whether the seven is equal to target? No. So it means we find our first element. So it means we find our first element. So we are going to store first is equal to mid and we are going to break the loop. We are not going to check further. All right. Now we will run the same logic again. All right, so same for loop again, and we are going to find the last element. So in case of the last element, so let's try to implement like because it's just a, like a copy paste of the code. So let me copy this. And let's change the optimal, optimal approach. Optimal method. Okay, so we know we have to run the we have to run the binary search. So how to run the binary search? So left is equal to zero, right is equal to 
so let's calculate the n length of a number so that we don't need to calculate the length again and again all right is equal to n minus one all right so we know like uh, we have to first put a uh, left pointer here and the last pointer right here right so first like uh, what we are doing is like in starting so left is equal to this right is equal to this and first element first element is equal to minus one by default we will give some variable first is equal to minus one all right then we have to run loop because in the binary search we will do till when when left is less than equal to right all right okay then we have to calculate the mid we have to run a loop and we calculate the how to calculate the uh, like mid left plus right divided by two okay then we are going to check if mid is equal to target if not mid if number at mid num nums at mid is equal to target just ignore this uh, for the timing pass and if if nums at mid is greater than target like so what we have to do let's suppose if number at mid number at mid is greater than the target so it means our number exists on the left hand side so right is equal to mid minus one else left is equal to mid plus one all right exactly the same like uh, our our binary binary search only because we are implementing the binary search only here so just we have to check one more condition here because if we find like here if we find mid is equal to target so in this case mid is equal to target but we are not sure whether this is the first element or not because in this case this is not the first element so we have to check the previous element so how to check if nums of mid minus one let's suppose not equal to target if the element previous previous element is not equal to the target it means the current element the current element is the first element right if not equal to a target then then first is equal to mid and then we are going to break a loop All right we need one more condition here because uh, mid minus one right so if there is a one element then it will create an issue so what we can do is let's suppose if it's one element zero so zero minus one minus one all right then it is checking mid of minus one or 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 like it going to like out of index like uh, a range so what we can do is if mid minus one greater than equal to zero should be greater than equal to zero and nums of mid minus one is equal to target then we are going to check okay first is equal to mid and then we are going to break else let's suppose the previous element is not equal to the target like in this case because if the let's suppose here also seven right then and we find the mid so previous we will check the previous element so previous element is not equal to the target so it means this is our first element so that's the same thing we are doing if the previous element is not equal to the target it means first element is the uh, the mid one the index is mid one but if like in this case one minute like in this case if previous element is also equal to the target that what we will do then we will shift our r then we will, will do right is equal to mid minus one so that we can again check and check so this logic is to find the first element and how to find the last element just copy paste find the last element logic will be going to remain same just here because let's suppose now we have to find the last element so we while 
when we find our mid, when we find our mid, then instead of previous element, we are checking the next element, whether the next element is like uh, equal to target or not. So instead of previous element, we are checking the next element, whether the nums mid plus one. And here as well, mid plus one should be less than equal to less than equal to n. That is the length. So mid plus one, if the next element is not equal to target. So let's suppose our mid is here at eight. All right, and target is also eight. So last element is this. So but we are not sure whether the last element is eight or not. So what we will do, we will check the next element. If the next element is not equal to target, then definitely this is the last, this is our last element, right? So that's the same same thing we are checking. If nums mid plus one is, is not equal to target, then last is equal to mid. And here we will do last. Last is equal to mid. But otherwise, if if this is also eight, let's put this is also eight. It means this is not a last element. There could be like more and more, and there could be like more, more, like so many elements. So mid is not our last element. So what we can do is we will shift our left. So we will shift our left to mid plus one. All right, so we are going to shift our left. But like, this is perfectly fine. But here, like uh, one, one condition left. If we have only single element, example, we have only single element and uh, we have to find, find like array is, array is this one and target is also one. All right. So our output should be zero comma zero, right? First element is at zero index and last element at zero index. But in our case, if like uh, num is one. All right, so we will left is equal to zero, right is equal to like uh, one minus one zero. First is equal to minus one, then left is equal to right mid. We will find the mid. All right, uh, zero plus zero by two zero. If num of mid is equal to target, all right? Yes, it is equal to target. Then again, we are checking if mid minus one is greater than zero. So zero minus one is not greater than zero, and num of mid minus one. So it falls. So if this condition is false. So we are not even going into this loop. So we have to give or condition or mid equal to zero. If mid equal to zero, all right. If mid is equal to target and mid itself is zero, then that the element. Same case here. Well, find find in the last element if mid is equal to n minus one. So this looks okay. We are like doing the binary search only because we know this is a sorted array, all right? And uh, it is in the sorted, and we need to find something. And when the array is in the sorted condition, we need to find something. We are just implementing the binary search. Uh, so this is only the binary search because this is core logic. All this logic over the binary search. This all logic is binary search because he here we have we have to find the first and the last element. That's why we are just checking. Because the previous element, because it is not mentioned, like there is a unique element. If it is mentioned unique element, then we don't even need this, right? But in the question, it is not mentioned unique element. So there can be repetition of elements, like eight, 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 multiple times, eight, multiple times. Seven. So that's why we are checking the previous element as well. If the previous element is not equal to the target, then definitely that is particular the mid. In the same last condition as well, if the next element is not equal to the target, then we have find the like the uh, last element. and at the end, we are going to return first comma last. We are going to return first comma last. All right. So let's try to run that. So just copy paste, copy it and uh, run it. Let's see if there is any issue or not. Okay, let's try to run sample cases first. So sample cases have been accepted. So let's try to submit. So now like solution has been like accepted and we beat 91%. Earlier we beat approximately 85%, but now we beat 91%. But doesn't matter how many like beat, but we have like uh, whatever in the question it is mentioned, we have implemented that. So that's the like the correct approach because we have to do in the log of n 
and uh, only the binary search uh, has complexity of log of n. So it's very simple question. It's come under the simple category only. Just a little, little logic here. That's it. Like not even a little, like just a very, very minor logic. Otherwise, every code is same as of the binary search. So that's it. That's the end of the video. Uh, thank you.